Well, we know that the first round of vaccines are not going to just anybody. It's a targeted group of people that will be receiving those first doses. And UW Med says theirs will be going to uh, health care workers that work in inpatient care roles. Most people shouldn't expect to get a vaccine right away. The Centers for Disease Control has a very specific list and at the top, healthcare personnel and people in long term care. The second phase, essential workers like teachers, police and firefighters. The third, high risk adults and those over the age of 65. These guidelines helped University of Washington Medicine decide how to roll out their first round of COVID-19 vaccines. They released a statement on their plan. Provide vaccine to all health care workers um, in that first phase, specifically health care workers that are patient facing. Basically, it's going to take months before the general public has access to the vaccine. Pfizer estimates June. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin says the city is working with the State Department of Health on a plan, but as of now, information is limited. It's going to be enormously complicated. We don't even know how much of the vaccine we're getting when. The next question is about procuring and storing the vaccines. They require a specialized freezer. The freezers you need for one of the vaccines requires really low temperatures. Um, they're sold out worldwide. UW has freezers prepped and ready to go at all UW medical hospitals. We're in a really good position to make sure that everyone who meets those criteria will be offered vaccine. And so the prioritization within that gr these groups is really to help stagger and to also maintain that surge capacity up front. Now, UW Med says the second round of doses is expected around January or late fe or early February. They say those will be going to people that are 65 and older and with comorbidities, meaning illnesses that put them at high risk. Live in Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.